Considering they're cute and fluffy and a pet to many, cats can be cantankerous and aggressive little psychos. Violent idiots that are always starting a fight with anyone and everyone for seemingly no reason. That includes snakes. That's right, cats have tried to fight snakes, and obviously that's backfired. These are 20 times that cats messed with the wrong snake. Number 20. Saved by CPR. Now look, I'm just gonna be upfront with you right from the beginning. I'm not gonna be doing some light videos about how a cat put their paw in a snake and hissed at it and nothing really happened afterwards. Oh no, I'm going to be talking about times when cats either tangled with snakes or snakes got the jump on the cat and caused them some serious harm. <laughs> which is a perfect segue into our first entry. Because in this case, a cat was almost strangled by a snake and had to be given CPR just to survive. The black moggy named Portia was heard crying for help as a three meter long reptile coiled around him, crushing his body in central Thailand. And those of you that know snakes will know that strangulation is one of their bread and butter. They will happily squeeze the life out of you until you're absolutely dead, and then only afterwards will they consume you. Something that I'll be talking about sooner rather than later. Thankfully though, this cat did cry for help, and some people nearby heard it and came to its rescue. Brave locals would prod the snake with a large piece of wood, which had caused it to unfurl in a fit of anger, likely because it perceived them as a threat to its meal and wanted to ensure that it would deal the first strike. They then gently performed CPR on the cat, and then the cat sputtered back to life. Now if you're confused why a wild cat has the name of Portia, well, that's because one of the rescuers noted that the cat was famous around the work site that they were in. The workers liked the cat and took care of it, and as you can see, they also saved its life. It's not a stretch to say that if they hadn't been there, the cat would have likely died and then been eaten, so it should be grateful for those workers, and hopefully gave them some lovin' the next time that they came close. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. This cat may look super adorable, but it is wild and really has earned the right to be called that. Mere seconds after the photo was taken, he pounced on that snake and attacked him for literally no reason. The poor guy was simply minding his own business, but the snake fought back and brutally so, viciously biting at the cat's paws and ripping clumps of fur out with its fangs as he did. According to the photographer, the snake even knocked the poor cat to the ground and wrapped its body around it, constricting him to the point where the photographer had considered violating his don't intervene with nature oath and swooping in to help. Thankfully, the cat wriggled free and scampered away at the last possible moment. Perhaps cats really do have nine lives. If he has any sense, he'll learn to never mess with a snake again. As always, you can let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below by using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 19. Serval vs. Snake Now, given the last story, you may think that most cats outside of the big cats are helpless against a snake, but that's not the case. Not always, at least. For example, there are cats that are above average that could take on a snake should the conditions be right. In Africa, aside from the lion, there is yet another cat species that you might have heard of. It's called the serval. Having the longest legs of any cat in proportion to its body, the serval is an agile jumper and avid digger. It can leap to catch birds over five feet in the air and dig to find prey like ground squirrels. After the initial fright, the cat's instincts kick in. So this is a cat that you don't want to mess with, but it's also one that's considered exotic, and as a result, it's something that has become very popular in the pet trade. They're illegal in many parts of the world outside of Africa, and yet people will find a way to get this cat, even though they're not suited for house life. They deserve to be in the wild, even if it means going up against a snake, such as in this video. Here we have a wild and young serval going up against a rather decent sized snake, and while servals can take on a snake, it matters how much experience you have against them, and this one has none. Now to be fair, he's doing fine at first because he can jump really high away from the serpent strikes, but the snake is being rather aggressive and that's causing some problems. 
Eventually, the serval is able to get hits in on the snake, but as you'll see, it doesn't really work. Sometimes you just need to cut your losses and go home, and that's what this serval did. There's no shame in walking away from a fight alive after having done your best. Number 18. Coral Fatals and in many snake encounters, the only thing that you need to worry about is the snake biting you and causing you some serious pain. But there are plenty of snakes out there that are venomous in the worst of ways, and they can kill both people and animals alike with said poison. In Florida, a woman had started warning her local neighbors about the possibility when her cat was bitten by a coral snake. That bite would leave the cat on death's door due to its venom. Video footage from the home shows her then one-year-old cat Sully playing with a snake, she believes that the snake had snuck in through the bottom of a door, and the fact that the cat was cool to play with the snake shows just how young it was. Got to defend, I mean, our home. It could, could have easily gotten into the house. It was right outside my master bedroom. However, it paid the price for that playtime, as the next day, her daughter would find the cat paralyzed with the snake right next to it. They had to take it to the hospital because it was barely breathing. A very sad state to be in, indeed. Thankfully, that cat was fine and was able to get back to its old self, but this could have been much worse in a whole lot of ways. What if the daughter didn't find the cat? What if the cat had succumbed to the poison sooner? And so, if you're living in an area that features poisonous snakes, you should keep your eye on your pets, because it's going to be a lot safer that way, and it'll save you on some medical bills later. Number 17. Siamese Fight this one's a little bit odd compared to some of the stories I've already told you, but it does showcase the personality of cats in a big way, and you can't deny that things do go a bit uniquely here. Siamese cats are a cat breed that are known not only for its identical looks at times, but also its high intelligence. This is a smart cat, and it's going to let you know that more times than not. But even a Siamese cat will get curious about a snake and decide to try and toy with it. These two videos will perfectly showcase that fact, and it's not exactly a quick thing. As you can see, there are two fights recorded of a Siamese going up against a snake, and you'll notice they both have the same long feeling to them. The Siamese cat circles the snake, taps it multiple times, and the snake fights back when it wants to, but other times it just wants to be left alone, which is something that I can appreciate. In a way, this is an example of snakes showing that they have a lot more patience than you would expect. Most people consider snakes in the vein of strike first and ask questions never. I mean, after all, Cobra Kai has its mantra for a reason. They think that snakes are the best creatures around. But sometimes, even natural-born strikers don't want to deal with annoying creatures like a Siamese cat. I mean, there are humans that are less patient than this snake and that says a lot. But if nothing else, the video also shows that cats don't always get what they want, and that feels like a win for humanity. Number 16. Savannah Cat vs. Snake This next cat species I'll talk about is a little bit ironic because it's not a natural species, but a hybrid. As you may know, cats and dogs are loved within their natural forms, whether wild or domesticated, but there's a big market out there for cats of a certain nature and look. So, if you can't get that in the real world, you do some breeding. The Savannah Cat is the result of one such fusion, and the reason it's ironic is because it's a fusion of a serval and a Siamese, the two species that I've already talked about on this list. The Savannah Cat's tall and lean body and striking spotted coat make these gorgeous animals look just a bit like miniature cheetahs, and that's why they were created. As noted, people love exotic animals, and they don't mind getting a bred version to highlight what they kind of have, all the while circumventing those pesky things that we call laws. But would a miniature cheetah do well against a snake? Surprisingly, yes. Unlike the last battle, this is actually a fight that's worth watching. The Savannah Cat finds the snake and then proceeds to chase it around outside of the house. It always has its claws ready to strike, and yet the snake doesn't back down after each one. This is an irresistible force meeting an immovable object, as they say. The battle ends in another draw, as the owners state aloud that they don't want the cat or the snake getting hurt. But when you see some of the strikes that this cat can land on that snake, well, you can also see some of those cheetah-style instincts coming through. Number 15. Venomous Effects 
Now this is another one where it's kind of hard to watch. Here we have a cat scrapping with another snake, but this time around the cat doesn't just get bit, it gets infused with venom. While that's bad on its own, the video keeps rolling as the cat begins showing the effects of said venom. First of all, that's not cool, because whoever was filming should have gotten that cat to a vet. Even if it wasn't theirs, it needed help and it wasn't giving up. Secondly, you can see via that cat just how fast things begin to take effect. At first, the cat just starts shaking its body out, and then you can see it foaming at the mouth, which is never a good thing. Now, I don't know what happened to the cat, but if it wasn't treated, it's likely that it died or that it had some serious issues afterwards. Most snake venoms aren't ones that you would just shake off, so if you feel that your cat's been bitten by a poisonous snake, you need to act immediately and with clear haste. Now, don't be like this person and just watch it, because that person is a jerk. Number 14. Cats vs. Viper now, you may be wondering why I titled it like that, and the answer is I'm being rather literal, because this is a case where two cats had found a viper in the yard and then decided that they were going to eat it. Now, while a snake is an incredible striker, that doesn't mean that it can take on multiple foes at once. I mean, after all, it can only do so much on its own, and if it strikes at one target, it leaves itself vulnerable to the other. The cats seem well aware of this fact, and they use their numbers advantage and mobility to take it on slowly but surely. The snake puts up a good fight, but it's not enough in the end. The cats win, and then they have a very nice dinner, and even roll around in the dirt near the snake. Man, cats can be so cruel at times. But this can also be a lesson, because if you're worried about a singular snake taking on one of your cats, you can improve their odds by making sure that they're not alone. It's a cliche, but it's also called strength in numbers for a reason. Number 13. Bobcat vs. Python now we can get into the heavyweight fights, where we've intentionally been holding back a little bit because I know that if you just saw lions or tigers going up against snakes, you would know what the results would be. But now it's time to talk about a different big cat going up against a very big snake. In this case, we head to Florida where there's a very big problem going on. Well, there's a lot of problems going on in Florida, but that's a completely different story altogether. In this case, I'm talking about how there are invasive species almost all over the state, and one of them is the Burmese python. This was another remnant of the exotic pet trade, and once they got to Florida, they never left. That makes them problematic for its ecosystem, including for the bobcats that reside there. And that's where things get interesting, because it wasn't the snake that started the fight, it was actually the bobcat. It had found the nest that the python had made, and the two went at it more times than once because of this. The snake was merely defending its place, and the bobcat wanted an easy meal. So technically, in this case, the snake was the victim, despite it being an invasive species. Another irony is that the bobcat knew the nest wouldn't be guarded when the snake was gone, so after some tussles, the cat waited until night and then got to the eggs. By the time scientists had come down to check it all out, the entire nest with dozens of eggs was destroyed. And while that is a large destruction of life, it does help to reduce the Burmese python population in Florida, so perhaps it's a win-win after all. Number 12. Cat vs. King Cobra Now I'll admit I'm not really sure what's going on here, as there's a lot of talking and narrating going on by the quote-unquote host of whatever program this is, but what I do have, and I do know, is that a small cat is in a well or a pit alongside a king cobra. Now, it should be obvious that that's not a good thing, as the king cobra is one of the deadliest snakes in the entire world. It's the world's longest venomous snake, and it's capable of going over 6 meters in length. Its venom is more than enough to kill, and that's why this team decided to help relocate the cat, which can be appreciated. But if you look at the footage, the two animals are hardly going at it, so perhaps I'm just missing something in translation. Either way, it's good to know that nothing died in this video, as that was certainly a possibility given all of the players involved. Number 11. Mother Cat There are only a few certainties in this world that you can truly count on. And in the animal kingdom, and to a lesser extent with humans, when you have a mother of a child that happens to be standing between her children and a predator, that mother is going to go all out to defend her young. Enter this cat and snake fight, 
and this is one hell of a fight. As you can see, the snake approaches a cat den that is housed by a mama cat and her three kittens. The kittens are helpless to defend themselves, so they 100% rely on their mother to get through the situation. Surely enough, the mama comes to their rescue, even when it means getting attacked by the snake and having to leap to get out of its range. Despite the back and forth contest, the cat is able to not only beat the snake up, but also toss it out of their home. Number 10. Python vs. Leopard Given the last snake vs. big cat fight that I showed you, you might think that snakes never get one up on a larger cat. But that's not exactly true. There are some massive snakes out there, and if they can get the right shots in, they'll take those cats down. In this case, a leopard was trying to make a meal out of an African rock python, which is a rather large serpent. Oh, okay. look, look, look. It's gonna get the leopard. At first, the leopard totally has the snake's number, as it whacks it a few times before going in for some bites. But that's when the python pulls its own fast one and uses its body to constrict the leopard. Those who were watching it felt the python had won, but the leopard was able to escape and eventually claimed the victory. Not without getting in some more wounds, though. That's why you don't let your guard down around a snake, because they'll take advantage and you could be in trouble. Number 9. Black Mamba Venom Being up front with you once again, we're not going to actually see a fight in this video. Instead, I'm going to show you the aftermath of a climactic battle. In the video, we witness a lioness after they've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with a black mamba, and if that name raises your eyebrows, well, it's because you know that this serpent is one of the deadliest in the world, not to mention one of the longest. The venom doesn't have some of the typical signs that other snake bites do, but the fatality potential is high, and the pain that you're going to feel is going to be immense, which is what this lioness is dealing with right now. She's clearly in agony, and you can see how her body doesn't look right due to its venom. It's rare to see animals in pain like this, and it proves just how powerful that venom can be. Number 8. Almost Got Him you sometimes just have to wonder if certain cats aren't annoyed by a snake, but rather curious about them. Look at this short video and you'll see what I mean. In it, a small white cat is checking out a snake and taps it with its paw. That snake doesn't really react at first, but when the cat goes in for another one, it lunges, and you can see the cat having to react quickly to get away. That cat got a little bit too close to the snake in more ways than one, and I have a feeling that it may well be keeping its distance from now on. Number 7. Curiosity and the Snake Now, we all know the phrase, curiosity killed the cat, but in this case, it might as well have. At a zoo, a cat found a snake hiding in a small bush plant. Naturally curious, that cat decided to see what the snake would do as it touched it, and surely enough, that snake didn't like it one little bit. It repeatedly tried to get away from the cat, but the cat was not going to let it go so easily. In fact, that cat continued to follow it through the rest of the video, even when the snake tried to make it clear that the cat should back off, the feline never did. For whatever reason, the poster of the video asked if this is animal abuse. I don't think it is, mainly because the cat didn't touch the snake all that often, plus it's two animals going at it and not a human doing anything. Now, if it kept hitting it, well, you could have said the cat was abusing the snake, but who's going to report a cat? It's all just very silly. Number 6. Stop Being Curious Now we have another video for you of a cat being curious about a snake and refusing to let it live its life in peace. Sometimes I just wonder if cats have a problem. Oh wait, <laughs> we already knew that they have a problem, didn't we? That's why they're cats and not dogs. Oh! Anyway, this cat doesn't seem to take the hint that it shouldn't be messing with this snake, even after the snake does everything it can to make it clear that it's going to get bitten, even lunging at the cat at one point. So, are cats just dumb? Well, we kind of already knew that one as well. <laughs> In truth, it might just be that it really was curious and the snakes and cats aren't meant to interact with each other, so while it's a one-sided fascination, it at least kind of makes sense. Number 5. Another Cobra versus a Cat 
Getting back on steady and yet still high ground, we have a short but sweet video for you this time. Here, we have a cat that notices a snake is getting a bit too close for comfort, and even worse, it's a cobra, possibly even a king cobra, so that's what we're going to go with. Which, as we've stated, is a very dangerous and venomous serpent. However, this cat maintains its composure, and it allows that cobra to come in, and when it does, it lands several wallops on it. Good stuff, really. Eventually, the snake packs it in and leaves, and that shows that the cat got the last laugh after all, which is pretty sweet. Number 4. White Cats Can Jump now, I appreciate all of those of you who got that reference, and to be clear, they never should have done that modern remake. It wasn't necessary, and really, can you top Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson? No, you can't. So stop it, Hollywood. Stop making remakes of things. Stop destroying my childhood. Anyways, here we have yet another curious cat. I mean, seriously, they should know better by now. Why haven't they learned their lesson? Oh, that's right, they're cats. Here, a cat is simply just staring at the snake. That's it. That's all it's doing. It's pretty tame stuff. But the snake was not exactly amused by the cat's glare, and thus it struck out at it. And that cat went way high up in the air to ensure that it got away. Oh, and then another cat enters the shot with a look that reads, What the heck just happened? You saw a potential winner in the Cat Olympics with that vertical. That's what. Number 3. Fast Forward Fight Sometimes it can be a chore to watch a fight scene, especially if it's not edited properly. Remember Iron Fist on Netflix? Actually, let's forget about that. The point is, this fight will be unique for you because you get to watch the entire battle and at high speed. Yeah, this is nice. You get to see all the ins and outs of this cat battling with a snake without much hesitation. And for me, the coolest thing is when the cat goes in straight for the kill shot on the snake's head and then that snake is able to turn it around to get free, forcing the cat to back off. Now, I'm not saying that all fights should be like this, but I wouldn't be opposed to others along this line. Number 2. Night Fight It's actually kind of surprising that we haven't had more fights taking place in the dark, as that's when many cats and snakes would more naturally meet. Then again, given all the videos that you've seen, perhaps not. Anyways, here we are via a trail camera, where we get to see a cat going up against a rattlesnake. Many of you are no doubt shivering at the mention of that snake's name, given how infamous they are for their rattle and the venom that they contain. The cat in question, though, didn't do anything to the rattlesnake, but that snake definitely did something to it as it began to rattle and the cat went flying off. Though to be clear, the cat ended up fine, and it's all kind of anticlimactic and boring. Number 1. It Got Away Finally, we're going to end this video with a clear cat victory, albeit at a cost. Here we have a python who's having a relaxing time near a body of water, when out of nowhere, a leopard shows up and starts eyeballing the snake. Clearly, this cat sees its next meal, and it quickly goes to work on capitalizing on that idea. Now, what may surprise you is how quickly the leopard actually wins the fight. Instead of the tactics that you saw before, this big cat goes right for the neck of the snake, right below its head, and in that position, the snake cannot do anything. The leopard is clearly won, and yet it eventually lets go, and the serpent flees into the water and swims away. That's why you have to finish it off before you release it. No meal for you, Mr. Leopard. That's all from the realm of cats and the times that they really shouldn't have messed with snakes. Were you shocked by how many times that snakes and cats have actually grappled with each other in one form or another? And which of these tales did you feel was the most unique? And perhaps you know of a better one that could have made the video. Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Be sure that you like this video and subscribe to this channel for more things like it in the future. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen. And I will see you next time. I love you.